I cannot get over how fucking vicious that Stegosaurus mom was. Yeah. She wants grandkids already. <laughs> Alright, yeah. It's, they, they seem like the kids are really young still. I don't know how dinosaurs age. They're tiny! They look like babies. Look at us now. Now you're an adult. Daddy T-Rex. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. So, uh, the Daddy T-Rex can roar from the start? Don't call it that. That's its name. Give me a roar. Jesus. I roared so loud I killed that man. Okay. Can I shove my head in this hole? Yes. Yes, I Does can. That oh. <laughs> That's pretty good. Yeah. Let's just step on this guy. Fuck him. Oh God. You're no longer a friendly dino. No, no, this, I'm not friendly at all right now. Banjo's bloodthirsty. Hey, what up, dude? Oh, you're gonna scare the hell out of him. Taught him a lesson. Yeah. I, you need to be small to get in there, though, so that's kind of tedious. Yeah. What I else? don't need to be a uh, dinosaur in there, though. I just need to be a bear. Okay. What else can you do? Honestly, not much. It's kind of disappointing because this is a cool-ass transformation that you use for, like, two things. That is pretty disappointing, yeah. I... There's this big button. Oh. Little one is not heavy enough to press this button. Get yourself a ginger. But I'm not big enough to get in there. Or I'm not small enough to fit in there, rather. Oh, you have to watch the animation. It's okay, unlike Kazooie, this game actually turns the timer off during animations. Okay. You are so tiny in that giant pool. Yeah. Wumba's Big Wumba is very large. <laughs> I bet it is. Yeah. <sighs> How are you feeling about Pterodactyl Land? It's... big, I guess. Yeah. Someone in the thread compared this game's level design to Donkey Kong 64 in a it's just big for no reason sort of way. Yeah. I, I feel that with some of these. Yeah, like, I can see it in particular with Terry Dacty Land. It's like, it's, there's a lot of big, empty space. Yeah. Oh, there's a torpedo thing down there. Yeah, I get it. Smack it. Clap that. Clap it. Well done. Oh, there was a button. I was waiting for it to blow up and it had significantly less impact than I thought it would. Jinjo. Jinjo. You almost have four. Four out of four. Yeah. Who knows when I might get the next brown Jinjo, but when I do, there's a Jiggy in it for me. When I do, you'll all be sorry. Exactly. The ah! Dope. Oh. <laughs> Jesus, you, it's a jump scare. Yeah, look at this. Oh. Bam. Oh. How are you supposed to notice that? I don't know. I miss it all the time, and also eggs don't work on it. Oh. Oops. Do you have to be a T-Rex? Do you have to bump it with your head? Nah, there's something else we do. Okay. 
I think it would have been nice if head bumping was a mechanic for the T-Rex. Yeah, like a cat. Yeah. Head about the ones you love. Oh, this poor guy. Yeah. Yeah, they've just been locked in here with a guy guarding the uh, cave with the express intent for them all to starve to death in here. Oh. <laughs> Kazooie, what the hell? He's yeah. dying. Yeah. I can light a fire for him. He's dying. He's chopping on the stick now. Yep. Doing jumping jacks to try and keep himself warm. The ice melting off of him, Jesus. What? This guy just tries to eat the dirt. Oh, These poor people. Yeah, they're having... I'm having a rough time. Oh, look at this. Hey, to Witchy World. So there's food in Witchy World, but we can't actually get it from Witchy World to here. Oh, yeah. I can show I, uh, what I mean here, actually. Because they take it away from you when you... This is the one place where they don't. There's no sign here. Oh. But we can't actually get back up here if we were to jump down. Oh, but there's those little Kazooie prints. Yeah, we need a new ability if we're gonna feed the Oogle Boogle tribe. Okay. We can warm them up, though, at least. Yeah, that's good. Stave off their death for a bit. Yeah. Now I know to always zoom all the way out every time I climb onto one of these. Yeah. After my bad time in Witchy World. <laughs> oh, even up here he's a little suffering fella. Yep, he's cool though. He's got his hands in his pockets. <laughs> and he... They all have a unique. Oh no, I thought they all had a unique animation. I thought he bit on his hand. Uh oh. But I was wrong because he's just eating dirt like the other guy. <laughs> he bites oh. on his hand. And you get back yeah. to him and he's missing one. Yeah. I mean, hey, if it'll help you survive, I'd eat my hand. <laughs> it seems like just a stone's throw away from the kind of joke this game would make. Honestly, yeah. <laughs> this game. Is not afraid to go to dark places. Yeah, remember when Bottles died and then he visited his family? Yeah, and made a bunch of jokes about him being dead in like a oblique way that they wouldn't understand because they don't know he's dead. Yeah. Yeah. That was a good time. I feel like the game kind of peaked there. Yeah. I want, I want more of that. But. Do you like the butts at least? Uh, yeah, they're a butt. Oh, jeez. <laughs> Taught him a lesson. You're gonna send this tribe to hell. You're gonna go extinct. Yeah, well, they should have thought of that before they wore armor. <laughs> they haven't really done anything to me, come to think of it. <laughs> They hit you if you get close, I guess. That's true. One of them did hit me when I was a dinosaur. It was a very rude thing to do to a dinosaur. People and dinosaurs aren't on good terms, though. Yeah, that's true. Maybe one day people and dinosaurs will finally find peace. I've got bad news for you. What? <laughs> Don't worry about it. You'll figure out when you're older. Okay. Look at that funky eel. Remember the Mario 64 eel? 
Yes. That was a My much sister more... was terrified of it. Yeah, that was a much more intimidating eel. I wish I was intimidating like an eel. <laughs> N64 games had a lot of, like, weird, kind of horrific childhood haunting things in them. Yeah. They weren't, like, expressly meant to be scary or anything. They just wound up that way. Yeah. So we can't attack these guys this time. We gotta, like, wait. Oh. What's over here that you only need a banjo for? Loops. Oh, no. I don't know why he didn't grab that. Do you have to press a button? Probably had to hold forward or something. The banjo bag swinging tech is pretty cool, though. Yeah, I quite like it. Up he goes. Pro bag swings. I like seeing Banjo go out on his own, because uh, Kazooie usually gets all the good stuff. So I like seeing Banjo get to be useful. Yeah. And learn new techniques. Banjo is also just a better person. So yeah, Banjo can carry stuff now. Alright. He had to be taught how to use his backpack. Yep. He's had Kazooie in it for so long, he just forgot. <laughs> That's cute. Yeah, I thought you'd appreciate that animation. That's really cute. <laughs> Alright, reunite the bird and bear. Interested to see what uh, what that taxi pack will be used for. Carrying things. Was this whole cave just for that ability? No, oh, there's also this honeycomb. Oh, okay. I, I guess that's fine. Yeah. We need to go visit her sometime. We do. It's nine. I think the next one was only five, right? I think so, yeah. Oh, it's always behind the waterfall. Yep, always something back there. Always. Those guys. The men are looking to hurt me. Yeah, this level's a little bit too big. A little bit. It could stand There's a lot of walking small. through the same areas we've already walked through. And it's kind of slow to do it. Yeah. How would you rate this level? Uh... It's hard to say, because there's parts of it I really, really like. It's just like... It's so large. That's fair. I swear there's a thing. Down here it is, isn't it? Yeah, it is a challenge in these later levels, because, uh... Yes, for now, I'll go ahead and do this. There's just a lot of kind of empty space in these levels. Yeah. So, we've encountered another prison. Oh, yeah, there's a lot of prisons in this game. This is a cool idea, though. Yeah, and you've got like that 20 second timer. Oh. I love these little Kazooie bots. They're great. And then they explode. <laughs> Jeez. Okay. 
Okay. There was something on the other side. Hmm? There was something on the other side of the... the prison through that hole, I think. What do you mean? It just looked like there was another area back there. I don't know. Oh, okay. What? Oh, no, I definitely can't take those where I wanted to go. Oh, I didn't realize there was a time limit. Yeah, I don't remember what to do to climb higher. Which is what I'm looking to do right now. I swear you just use springy step shoes, but I'm not sure where I can find springy step shoes mm. in a reasonable location. There's right there, right here. That's right. Oh. Uh. Also, all shoes have their own timers. Mm -hmm. Like, it's based on how much how far you're supposed to go with them. So like, one pair of turbo trainers might last 10 seconds while another lasts 20. Oh, okay. And that's that been the case sense. since Kazooie as well. I just never brought it up. Okay. That's pretty smart. Yeah. I, I like climbing the mountain. Are you getting prominent at that right now? Is that what's happening? Yeah, something like that. It looks like bile. It might be, yeah. We can keep going up, but first I want to go in here. Alright, just tell me what's in here. It's the bonfire cavern. Oh. You use ice eggs on those? Yeah. Oh, you do use the ice eggs on those. And it gets darker when you do. Oh yeah, because this game is like lighting mechan- oh jeez, game is lighting mechanics. Yeah, this game's got like a, a lighting engine despite being in a Nintendo 64 game. This game is weird. Yeah. It's so big, it's so ambitious. Mm-hmm. The stomping planes. Yep. So the stomping planes feature stomping. Ah. I did notice this had the very telling video game sign of the music cutting out and there being intimidating whistling wind. Mm -hmm. This is very menacing. It's a dangerous place. That's it? Just the foot? Yep, just the foot. Oh. So, we need to get over here as Banjo and Kazooie, as Banjo, and as Kazooie. Oh my And they God. all have different methods to make it across the plains. That is pretty cool. I really like this part. For Banjo and Kazooie, it's pretty easy. You just need a good number of Wonderwing feathers. And they okay. get you the jiggy. But then behind Banjo's is a door, and behind Kazooie's is a Jinjo. Mm. And this little staircase just takes you back. So, let's go over as Kazooie. Alright, this is, this is really cool. The trick with Kazooie is that she's fast. Oh, you're gonna She's outrun it. She's just fast enough to outrun it and dip into these uh, little holes. That's cool. Oh, but I did get hit. One hit will set you to one HP, no matter what. Oh, that's menacing. Prevents you from uh, cheesing it with high HP. Yeah, that's true. And we can't actually do the banjo version yet. Oh, okay. You need a new move. Yeah, Banjo has no means to survive getting from one end to the other yet. It's very menacing when you put it like that. Yeah, he cannot survive. And I forgot there's a warp pad right here that they're kind enough to provide. Let's go up to the very top of the mountain, why not? Yeah. Now I'm really curious what beh what's behind that door, though. Yeah, well, we'll find out eventually. I'm gonna guess this is a boss fight. It's Terry's nest. Hello, Terry. Oh, but I'm later. Oh, so 
I'm shook. Huh. Hello, Terry. How you doing, friend? <laughs> the gate. I like the skybox. It's very Nintendo 64. It is very. Oh, camera angle. Dirty, you say? That's a lot of hell. Uh, it's not as much when you consider how much damage grenade eggs do. Lord, that is a lot. Living mucus. You Where snotty buddies. Snotty buddies go. Yeah, that's, that's what I that's what I call my friends. Same. Whenever Ashley isn't online I say to myself, Where did my snotty buddy go? <laughs> you and I, we are the mucus duo. So what do you think of this one? I like this fight. It's a little repetitive, but it doesn't take an eternity like somebody does. Yeah, <laughs> somebody. Yeah. Fucking Mr. Patch. <laughs> nah, I love Mr. Patch. Mr. Patch is the best. Also, Lord. Fuck, fuck. Yeah, he's, he's the one who takes a long time. You know, I didn't expect dynamic camera angles in a boss fight for an N64 game, though. I'll say that. There's a lot of stuff you just don't expect in this game. And I can't tell if I just have a bad idea of what this generation was capable of, or... It's really, like, Rare are the only ones who really knew how to pull this much out of this console. That's really interesting to see. Yeah, it's like Rare and Nintendo themselves. Hmm. And even Nintendo themselves, I guess just because they were some of the earlier games on the console, but they didn't do a lot of this stuff. Mm -hmm. Or at least I don't remember them doing a lot of this stuff. Yeah, a lot of their games were pretty early in the console's lifespan. And then they were kind of like working on the disk drive for a while, which ended up not happening really. Yeah. Long history of Nintendo peripherals that didn't go anywhere. Yeah. This was that kind of era where they were trying a lot of peripherals that didn't work, right? Like the Virtual Boy. Yeah, I mean the Virtual Boy wasn't a peripheral, it was a whole console. Oh yeah, it was a whole console, wasn't it? Yep. Interesting. Also, all those eggs we saw around are ready now. That's good. Are they going to show you each and every one? Yeah. No. Okay, that that's good. There's two of them. Oh, okay. For some reason. Well, I don't was... know why they showed two in particular. There was like another hole in this... Oh, wait, two? Yep, there's one just there. Okay. You know. Wasn't there another hole in this nest? Other yep. than the one you came for. Way over here. So, two jiggies right in a row, huh? Yeah, That's I guess little... they ran out of ideas. <laughs> I guess so. Show me what you got. What's your... What are you doing? Can Kazooie climb ladders? No. Ropes? Okay. Kazooie can swim, though. <laughs> oh, that's a cute little swimming animation. 
I feel like birds aren't known for their ability to swim. They're not, no. Remember one time when I was at a mall downtown, I saw a pigeon stuck in a uh, in a fountain. Oh no. I was Help. younger and I felt bad for the pigeon, so my family called security to help the pigeon. Good. I I say when I was younger, but I would also feel bad for the pigeon now, to be honest. Of course. I would probably still call security to help the pigeon. Alright, we can finally show off hatching. If I can remember which <laughs> fucking button combination to use. There we it go. It was the... yeah, the triggers. Yeah, it's trigger plus X. It's a big sit. Mm-hmm. Just knows how to cute. fly right out of the gate. They're talented. Yeah, for real. It's cute in like a undercooked meal kind of way. Yeah. Undercooked chicken is the cutest meat. It is. I get salmonella and I think to myself, no, this is kawaii. Exactly. Speaking of N64 skyboxes. Yep. Where am I going now? Wait, look at the stomping planes. Is that the face of the stompasauri thingy? It's the face that they use for the little guys when you talk to them. Oh, okay. But maybe it's also what the uh, the big guy looks like. I don't know. Hmm. You don't get to see it. Interesting. <laughs> <laughs> Long day of banjo playing. Yeah. Long day in general. Mm -hmm. Especially with banjo. Especially with banjo. Banjo is long. He is long. Yeah. Long bear. <laughs> long bear. But yeah, we can fly around now, which is nice. Nice. Oops. Uh -oh. I didn't think that would okay. last long enough <laughs> for me to oh. hit. Sorry about that, I elbowed a Christmas decoration. Oh no. I don't know, okay, it turned off. Oh, uh, I missed it. Oh, Jesus Christ, it's this shit again. Oh, you're gonna Actually, die, aren't am you? am I supposed to do this, or am I supposed to... grenade it? Okay. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Could do it you a much easier way. <laughs> you almost killed yourself over that. Yep. Oh, missed. Got him. There you go. There you Five go. And nine. Getting real backloaded with the uh, gingos. It is, isn't it? What? Or like the black gingos in particular. I've yeah. noticed we didn't find a whole lot early in the game, so we're just getting them one after another. <laughs> Let's help out the sick, sick dinosaur and finish off this family and their problems. Okay. Because we now have the power to help a sick dinosaur. Are you going to put it in your bag? Yeah. You... Hmm? Just the whole thing. Yeah. Look how big my bag is now. Okay. It's bigger than it is with Kazooie in there. Also, hey, when you get out of this cave, pause for a sec so I can, so I can get up. Hidden for the train station. Train station? Yeah. Oh. I thought we would take him to Mumbo. Well, Mumbo can only make things bigger. Mm-hmm. So what kind of doctor are we taking this fella to? Uh, Mumbo. Oh. <laughs> we just gotta take it to Mumbo in a different place. Oh, uh, one where he has the right magic, I guess. 
Yeah, I just tried to Taltrot. It's kind of silly, but all right. Yeah, it's a little, a little stupid, but whatever. Video games. Video game. It's it's cool as a puzzle, because it yeah. you know it makes sense in the game. It just doesn't actually make sense. Yeah, it doesn't make sense in universe, but it makes sense in gameplay terms. They would make it make sense in universe. Muffet is just it's... really stubborn. Yeah. We'll destroy the balance. Let's go to the Isle of Hags. Maybe now Momo can do the first good thing he's ever done. Uh, what about when he made it so we could turn into a big T-Rex? Yeah. It was still mostly mumble wumba. What about when he made the uh, water extremely oxygenated, probably destroying the local wildlife, but allowing us to swim around in it? Well, you've just kind of said yourself why that wasn't so great. <laughs> but it helped us get a bunch of jiggies. Banjo could have just gotten some scuba gear. Uh huh. So we actually need to find a Globo for Bumbo, though. Oh, yeah. Which is fairly easily accomplished. Show me the Globo. I'm gonna head down these stairs and push a thing. One thing I do appreciate that's a change from Kazooie to Tui is that switches like this, pretty much always you just stand on them, while in Kazooie you always, always had to slam them every time. Yeah. I mean, if they made you slam on them still, it would have given the slam some kind of function. Yeah, that's true. Not in a good way, but... Yeah, it would have been something for you to use it for, though. Was that... Is that the entrance to another level? Yes, it is. That's interesting. Give me a second. I need to deal with this cat, who is trying very hard to hit the keyboard with his tail and probably potentially stop the recording if I let him continue. Which cat? Is it Pretzel? Yeah, it's Pretzel. Is that son of a bitch, Pretzel? Yeah. Tell us about Pretzel. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> Tell us about Pretzel. Tell the uh, audience about Pretzel. He is my precious cat who really likes to just cause mayhem at every opportunity he gets. Pretzel is what we like to call a himbo. <laughs> yeah, he causes mayhem, but he doesn't do it on purpose. He is stupid. He's an extremely stupid cat. <laughs> yeah. He is a fucking buffoon. Yeah. He's a good boy, though. He's just dumb. He farts a lot. He hasn't been experiencing so many of those lately. <laughs> good. He used to a whole lot, but... That was just when I first got him and he was adjusting to new food. just remembered that because uh, I think before we started this recording, you may have called Pretzel your beautiful farting son. Yeah. So I just figured. I mean, he still is. Yeah, fair enough. Oh, we healed the six Cyracosaurus. That was kind of anticlimactic, but alright. Never mind. Okay, we get to see him. Still not terribly climactic. It's still like letting off clouds. That's because it's jumping up and down on straw. Alright, it just looked the same as it's sneezing. Yeah. And that's what you use Mumbo for in the Isle of Hags. Is it's that not like there's it? multiple times where you could use him to heal things, just, no, you heal that once to That's it. Yep. That is the entire purpose of this Mumbo. Did you even 
really need the banjo upgrade for that. Because uh, the other child, the other dinosaur child, just got in the train on their own. Sick. It can walk. Yeah. It's not the best designed part of this puzzle. Like, it's... I do enjoy helping the Styracosaurus family. I like these long form jiggies, but this one's just kind of a bunch of busy work and a bunch of things that exist just for this nonsense. I mean, Taxi Pack is used plenty of times, but like Mumbo is, exists only to do this. It's... Alright, sure. Yeah. I guess that's why they have the train station there, too. I mean... Well, the train station would you at least use twice in Look, this it's whole walking! Thing. Yeah, he's healthy now. He's not sick anymore. Why so didn't he's he do that in the first the place? Hmm? Could have done that in the first place. Too sick. Why does it still look like he's running on straw? Wow. They are nice enough to give you the jiggy straight away instead of like spawning it in there, making you run to get it. <laughs> no. Fair enough. Yep. Kazooie does not challenge the dinosaur who is like ten times her size. Yeah. And uh, I think maybe we'll take a little break. Show get the at total. A... Oh, like all totals or pterodactyl no, totals? Just pterodactyl win. Halfway done with it in an hour. Oh my fucking god. Some of the other ones are a little bit faster to get, but we'll worry about those another time. Maybe next time, maybe just wait until we revisit the stages at the end of the game. Probably the latter. Yeah, Eterodacty Land seems a little bit like a low point. Yeah, like, I really do like the stage, it's just. It gets tiring and a little bit bland. Yeah, it was... It's very big and empty, too. Yeah. Yeah. Good commentary challenge. Yeah, there were a couple of spots there. Just kind of didn't know what to say when <laughs> we were walking across, like, the same big empty space for the fourth time. Yeah. Could have used pretzel in some of those situations. Yeah. But, uh, yeah, that's gonna do it for now. We're gonna... Take a break. Bye, friends. <laughs> Goodbye.